The following program is brought to you by Whiteman TV and Bruce Telecom. Hello and welcome to the Bruce County Museum and Cultural Center here in beautiful Southampton, Ontario. We're here in the OPG Feature Gallery tonight for an opening of two exhibits tonight at the museum. What I'm sitting in right now is uh, Mark Chagall. It's called Chagall for the Children. Uh, the interesting part about this exhibit, uh, as you can see, it's, it's kind of lower than most exhibits you're used to in the museum. Uh, this museum exhibit is specifically designed for young children to learn all about art and artwork and encourage them to do artwork here at the Bruce County Museum. Uh, it's all put on uh, a lot of the artwork you'll see in these, this section is from Mark Chagall. The students get to learn or the kids get to learn about Mark, uh, learn about his artwork and do some of their own artwork. Uh, so. It's a really interactive exhibit. I'd encourage you if you have any young artists in your family or you just want to get kids exposed to artists or artwork, please come out to the Bruce County Museum and check this out. So again, in this show, we're seeing two exhibits. Uh, they're both about artwork. The first one here is Mark Chagall's For the Children. Uh, and the second one is all about the local artists here in Bruce County. So it's gonna be exciting too. So stay tuned as we learn all about these two new exhibits opening uh, today at the Bruce County Museum and Cultural Center. I'm here now with Kathy McGurr, the Director of Museum and Cultural Services here at the Bruce County Museum Cultural Center. Kathy, these two exhibits are absolutely amazing, first of all. Congratulations. Well, thank you so much. We're really excited about uh, being able to open two fantastic exhibits for our kickoff, our summer season. Mm -hmm. And the neat thing about both of them was they're interactive. Like, there's things for people to do. They just don't get to look. You can do things and touch things and make art, right? Yes. Yes, and that's uh, when we're always looking at how we either create in-house exhibits or exhibits that we bring in. We're always looking at that component. Of course, the educational aspect is important to us as well um, because then we have good ties into the curriculum. But it's just, you know, it's about having fun and it's about um, sometimes having fun and learning at the same time, but you don't even know you're learning because you're just enjoying things so much. Yeah. What does it mean to you guys to partner for the uh, My Bruce County uh, Art, the Youth Art Exhibit, partner with the Southampton Art School? Wasn't that a great partnership? Yeah, yeah and it is. And the Southampton Art School, as you know, has a long history in the community. Uh, the museum has had a long history uh, with supporting local artists within the community. Uh, but this is the first time that we've reached out and reached out to the youth um, within the county. So m my perspective on it was I, I kind of looked at having, you know, on one level we have Chagall, who is a world-renowned artist, and on the other level, we have potentially world-renowned artists that are growing up to be world-renowned artists right within the county. So I wanted to be able to have an opportunity for the youth to showcase their work. And 
to show them that um, you know you you should never you, you should always be exploring your art and you never know where it's going to take you. Yeah. And they must be excited to have a hanging. Speaking as myself, when I was in high school, I had, uh, my art teacher in, encouraged uh, and secured hanging uh, a place for art to hang in a museum back in my local hometown. So that was amazing to see your art hung somewhere that's not, not that it's nice to have it hanging in the school, but anybody can come see it, right? These kids must be blown away and amazed. Absolutely. And we, like I said, we had some very, uh, some very great artwork through these students. Um, and really the nice thing was, is really through artistic expression for them to really create pieces that say what Bruce County means to them. So they're home. Um, so we have a, a very diverse, um, uh, amount of artwork upstairs um, but yeah to be able to showcase it and have it at the museum is great all summer long um, while it was a juried show and we do have prizes for certain individuals we also decided to have a people's choice award yes. and the people's choice award I think is really fun because it is an opportunity for um, people to come in over our summer months and vote on their particular piece so we'll be doing that prize at the end of the summer months as well. Awesome, great. And so how long are both exhibits here, roughly? Do you know the dates when they're going to be closing? Both exhibits are here till Labor Day, okay. so uh, you have lots of time. Yeah. But, you know, they're such great exhibits. Come out once, bring your friends, come back, come all summer long, because we'll have uh, different crafts and activities on going through the summer as well. Good. Thank you very much, Kathy. Well, thank you. And then you can put it in the bag take home. I'm going to use some blurb. Show it to your mother. Show, show, show your mom your creation, and then you can Okay, you ready? Except you will probably go eat your food Yeah, just don't touch yes, the floor can. because it's hot. Because it just had a ring out. You might want to get no, some. Lay down. Like, Thank you very much for everyone uh, attending and coming here tonight to um, our summer exhibit opening. So tonight is really an exciting night for us because we have not only one, but we have two exhibitions opening with us tonight. Um, I would like to call upon um, and recognize some members of uh, Bruce County Council here with us tonight. Um, so we do have uh, Mayor of Soggy Chores, Mike Smith, with us tonight with his grandson and his wife Donna. And we also have Janice Jackson, who is the Mayor of South Bruce Peninsula, and I'd like Janice to come up and say a few words, if you would. Thanks, Kathy. Okay, you're welcome. Well, good evening, good afternoon. Jeez, the sun is still shining. We know summer is here. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. On behalf of uh, Bruce County, we're so proud of this museum and all of the uh, exhibits that, that uh, are enjoyed by our, our residents and visitors alike. Um, this is the kickoff to the summer with the Chagall exhibit. Kathy says that it's the second time that it's ever been in Canada, so we are so proud to host that along with the youth exhibit that we have uh, going in conjunction with that. So we've got an awful lot to offer you this morning, or this morning, this summer, and uh, please come back, bring your kids, uh, old and young, and enjoy the Bruce County Museum. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. Okay, so we'll try and be loud because it's, uh, I don't know if the mic is working exceptionally well there. So as I mentioned before, we're really excited about being able to open two of our temporary exhibits this summer. So Chagall for Children is just a wonderfully interactive uh, feature featuring uh, 14 works of uh, Marc Chagall's work. So Marc Chagall, as most of you know, is a Russian-born Fr uh, French painter. And uh, this exhibition was produced uh, by the uh, Cole Children's Museum out of the greater uh, Chicago area. And yes, it has only been in Canada, to my knowledge, this is the second time. So we're really thrilled to be able to bring uh, this exhibition to the Bruce County Museum. Um, as always, this type of exhibition is not possible without uh, our sponsors and our support from our community partners. So I would like to ask uh, Linda Kane from OPG to come up to say a few words at this time, who is one of our sponsors. On behalf of OPG, welcome to this amazing evening. And at first, I want to thank everyone who organized this event. If you haven't had a chance yet, to make your paintbrush. You know, you should get in there and try it. It's lots of fun. Go oh, louder. Sure. Get, make sure you get in there and try to make one of those paintbrushes. It's lots of fun. No. So it's another way of bringing in your, looking into your, uh, the artist within you, right in there and eat it afterwards. It's a great reward. Anyways, um, uh, as well, I want to also thank all the volunteers that are here tonight and all the volunteers that make every experience 
more fun and interesting for everyone that comes to the museum. I don't think the museum could work without all of you, so I want to give a bit of a hand to all the volunteers. Um, OPG has been a long-standing supporter of the museum. Uh, we started sponsoring, I guess, the very first year when you opened with the new design and the OPG gallery. And the very first exhibit was an artist. It was Paul Klee. And now, 10 years later, we have another artist here. So it's sort of fun to be able to hear, be here and uh, have an opportunity to bring another art show back in and get everyone to enjoy it. Um, so um, I want, I want to um, just let everyone know that I want you to take the opportunity when once the exhibit opens, go down and explore your, the inner artist inside each of you. So welcome and enjoy. Thank you. And I'd also like to invite Julie B from 101.7 The One, who is our media sponsor for the event, to come up and say a few words. Julie. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much, everyone. Um, we want to say thank you to everyone here at the museum for allowing us to be part of the great things that you do here. We've had a long relationship with the Bruce County Museum and Cultural Center as well. They sponsor some of what we do, and we are quite happy to be here and sponsor some of what they do. And we're always happy to be part of learning and creativity and fun, and that's what this is all about here. So give yourselves a round of applause for a great exhibit. Thanks, Julie. So as I mentioned, we have two exhibits tonight, and our second exhibition I'm really excited about, and it was one that was created a little closer to home, actually, in fact, right in our backyard. And again, we couldn't do it by ourselves, so we were very fortunate to be able to partner with the Southampton Art School. We partnered with our local elementary schools, and our local residents, and our local teachers. So the My Bruce County uh, Youth Art Show is a show that is focusing on youth in grades six through eight, and we basically ask them to come forward and talk about or put into expression, artistic expression, what their home, what Bruce County means to them. So while we have a history of engaging, um, you know, arts within the community, uh, we've typically not done anything at this level for uh, youth. And it was such a great experience, and I think I can guarantee that it won't be the last time we do this kind of project together. Um, we have a lot of extremely talented uh, young artists in the community, and you'll see their work shortly. Um, but I would like to recognize uh, Darlene Cunningham from the Southampton Art School and call Doc Darlene up to say a few words, and also recognize Joanne Sturgeon and Sharon Barfoot, two of our local artists here within the community who are also involved in the creation and the during of this show. So Darlene, if you wouldn't mind coming up and saying a few words. Okay. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you for coming out and supporting the My Bruce County Youth Art Show. My name is Darlene McConkey and I'm the director of the Southampton Art School. Uh, Southampton Art School is a non-profit charitable organization. Uh, we offer art classes for people of all ages. Uh, we're in our 59th year. 2017 will be our 16th year in, in service. Uh, the mission of the Southampton Art School is to support and encourage cultural expression. We are very pleased to be partnering with the Bruce County Museum and Cultural Centre to fulfill this mission. We would like to recognize the creative abilities of Bruce County's young artists. I want to personally thank Kathy and her staff for all the hard work they put into this exhibition. Um, and also, again, Joanne Sturgeon and Sharon Barfoot for coming out and jurying all the artwork. Um, that was submitted by the, the children. Um, we also have a table upstairs just outside the exhibit. If you want to come up, there is a picture of the art school as a painting that Joanne Sturgeon and I put together. And we're asking if everyone could pick up a paintbrush and add a brick to the picture, a brush stroke to the painting. This painting represents how vital community is in growing a cultural organization like the art school, Brick by Brick. Thank you very much for coming up tonight.
everybody is excited to get uh, upstairs and downstairs to see the exhibitions. Um, you do have a little program that outlines where the different activities are for tonight. And one final word that I would like to say before we cut the ribbon in the frame to open the exhibitions is uh, that at 8 o'clock, if you're still here, hopefully you'll be here, we're doing this till about 8.30, if you could come upstairs to the Bruce Gallery because that is where we will be awarding the prizes uh, for the uh, for the youth art show. All of the children will get something, so come and see me directly, but we do have some specific prizes uh, for the jury of the show. So again, thank you for coming. Thanks to all of the staff, the volunteers for making these events, uh, great events within our community. Um, and we will cut the ribbon, and then we can go and explore the exhibits. Okay. Kathy? Yes. <laughs> I'm blinded by the sun. I know. Not that I'm complaining because it's nice. Not the paparazzi. Good, I'm good. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Oh. Nice shot here. Just go. One more. What's more, Linda? Here. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to move. Just looking at me here. Thank you. We're good. All right. We now Thanks. declare the exhibit open. Oh, okay. okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go. I'm here now with Darlene McConaughey, the director of the Southampton Art School. And uh, Darlene, you were doing this exhibit in partnership with the Bruce County Museum, right? Yes, we are. Kathy McGurr contacted us and asked us if we were interested in doing a youth art show. And we sat down and kind of hashed out some ideas, and this is what we ended up with. Again, probably another cool example of two organizations in Southampton coming together to put something really cool together for the community to do and see, right? Yes, yes. It's, and we're trying to gear it right around the, the youth. Um, we're trying to really push how creative our kids are. And with that being taken out of the curriculum at school, it's kind of nice to, to keep, it in the, keep it in the area and really encourage our kids to keep doing art. Absolutely. Art is a very important part of your development and your life. Um, what are the age ranges, if I could ask, for the kids that are in here? Do you have just a rough idea? Uh, what, we opened the show to grades 6, 7, and 8, oh, yes. uh, and we contacted about 13 of the local schools and all the teachers for the grades 6, 7, and 8, and uh, just said, you know, if your, your classroom is interested, please submit some artwork. So. We were lucky, we got a couple of actually the really locals, Southampton and Port Elgin, that were the ones that submitted the artwork. So we were really pleased that it's local, local kids, so yeah. And they're probably very excited to come see this and see their artwork professionally hung in a museum, <laughs> all right? I think that's gonna be a real surprise how well it's hung, it looks amazing. I've just done a little sneak peek and it really looks fabulous. Yeah. Now, if more people wanted uh, information about the Southampton Art School to give yourself a little plug, um, how could they go about contacting you? They can go on our website. It's uh, www.southamptonartschool.com. That's our new website. All of our kids' classes are on, uh, on the website. We have kids' classes in July and August. Adult classes have started already. We started in May, and they go right through to October. And again, on our website, or they can come into the gallery. We have catalogs there. We have a registration office. They can pop in and just register in person. It's lots of options for them. Thank you very much, Darlene. Thank you.
Well, as you can see here, I'm wrapping up this show inside the My Bruce County, the Youth Art Shows uh, section here, just at the top floor of the museum. Uh, and uh, just because this was the opening night tonight, don't think you could still get on some of the excitement here. If you come to the museum while the My Art uh, Show is on here on the upper floor, you can cast a People's Choice ballot, and at the end of the exhibit, they're going to pick a People's Choice winner. So please make sure you come down and visit the Bruce County Museum and Cultural Center here on downtown uh, beautiful Southampton, Ontario, for the Chagall for the Kids exhibit and the art show here put on by the kids. It's a great way to come out and inspire the young artist or see some artwork done by some young artists. So come on down to the Bruce County Museum and if you want more information you can always visit brucemuseum.ca. That's their website and uh, I encourage you again to come out and visit this museum. They have a wonderful museum here and come out and see these two exhibits. Chagall for the Kids and the My Bruce County the Youth Art Show. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Adam Oliver L.
The preceding program was brought to you by Whiteman TV and Bruce Telecom.